Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since we made a video, and I think it is time that I address what's going on to you guys. As you guys can tell by the title, me and Steph split, and that put the uh, future of this channel and the completion of the bus into question. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go into details and in our relationship, that's something that's very private, um, but I can speak to um, me recently having a lot of mental health problems and um, a lot of what has happened uh, stems from that. And I've been really uh, just kind of focusing on dealing with those, hence the media blackout for a little while, no posts. But I am living in the bus full time. My whole life exists in here right now. And there's a couple things I want to talk about. So the first thing I want to address is the videos. Now, Stephanie was the creator of all these videos. She edited them. She made sure I got all the shots we needed. She made the voiceovers. Um, and she was really the storyteller. Like this, this, was her, this was her jam, editing, not mine. Uh, yes, I'm a video producer, but without her storytelling and editing, uh, none of this would have been possible. So the future look of these videos is going to be a lot different. Now, I'm still going to be working on the bus, and there's going to be uh, some videos that have some of my projects that I'm working on in it. But this isn't going to be solely a conversion channel anymore, especially because I'm so close to being done the bus. So that's something to expect. Also, the videos are going to be a lot less polished. I have severe ADHD, kind of tying back into my mental health problems. And sitting here and editing for long periods of time is very difficult for me. There's going to be a little, you know, it's not that there going to be less videos. There hasn't been a video in six months, but things are just going to be different. So that's what I want you guys to know. And because you guys are used to Stephanie's style and editing, and she was half of this channel, it is Adam and Steph. I'm going to be linking down below uh, her new stuff. But this video really is, um, is supposed to be a thank you to Stephanie for everything that she's done. Um, she is the brainchild of most of this bus. She put a lot of hard work into this bus, and I... I feel guilty having it, to be honest. I feel guilty possessing the bus, and I feel bad um, that I'm enjoying it, and I've been having a hard time with sharing anything about it, honestly, um, just because I know she'll see it, and I don't want her to feel left out. Okay, my initial plan was to just finish it and sell it, but I, I, I am really enjoying it, and living in here has been kind of helping my mental health. Simplifying my life has always been the goal. Um, uh, a busy life, normal day life, is very, very hard for me um, just because I'm so low-functioning uh, ADD. And I get overwhelmed with normal day life. And this simplifies everything because I don't have anxiety about forgetting something when I drive somewhere because I have everything I own. And... Wherever I want to sleep, I just park it and sleep. And even knowing it's unfinished and things are, you know, exposed and incomplete and whatever, I'm loving it. And I feel guilty that I'm not doing this with her. This bus is far from finished. And as I've been going along, I've been fixing things as I went. Things that are most important. Things that are crucial for living in here. Um, First thing I had to figure out was how to cook food in here. Uh, I have an induction cooktop, but I had no inductive cookware. So I so went to my old apartment where my mom lives and I grabbed some pots and pans and I built myself a little kit so I'm able to cook with the cooktop and I've been using the oven as well. So I've been eating in here fully and this is actually a time in my life where I've actually been cooking for myself the most. Usually I rely on others to cook for me or I eat out a lot, which I'm not proud of, um, but I've been learning how to consistently cook for myself healthy meals, like actually make them. All my friends in my friend circle 
say that I eat ingredients. So instead of making a sandwich, I would just take peanut butter and just eat the peanut butter instead of making a peanut butter jam sandwich. Simple things like that uh, I'm trying to get away from and, and work on myself and be a more functional human being. And I find living in here has simplified my life in a way that lets me kind of just focus on the essentials. And one of the essentials is cooking for myself all the time. Now don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna eat peanut butter right out of the jar. Sometimes, it's just gonna happen. Another thing I always struggled with was doing the dishes. But living in such a small space with such a small area for dishes to accumulate and having no dishwasher, I find myself uh, doing my dishes almost right away, which was something I always had a very hard time with in a house. And yes, I have running water, but I got that up and running in the last couple weeks. It was done, but not. There's no water in the system. I now have water, and I also have hot water. So maybe in the future, I'll, I'll make a video about that. So my current goal in life right now, I'm just going to keep moving you around so it's interesting. My current goal is to finish this bus and get it done. Uh, finances are in the way and time constraints are in the way. Right now in the summer, my business gets really busy. It's very seasonal. Uh, I have very little time to do much. So I'm super busy, but I'm also super broke. So um, as I can afford things to finish the bus, I'm doing it. As you can see at the front of the bus, we have a big piece of styrofoam and some wood. Uh, I'm gonna be completing the stairwell next, insulating that. Not gonna be a video about it. It's not really important. It's just me insulating the stairwell because it is an ice box in the winter time. So, yeah, just super broke, super busy, but I'm super excited to be living in here. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.